ATA CMS is suitable. U.S. Army Colonel assessed how to stop Russian guided aerial bombs. In order to stop Russian guided aerial bombs, CABS, Ukraine must strike the territory of the Russian Federation with all the weapons it has. ATA CMS systems are also suitable for this. Retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Cedric Layton said this in an interview with Liga Media Outlet. In particular, he commented on the fact that in the border zone of the Kharkov region, the Russians, as in the Donbass, are destroying absolutely everything. The enemy is turning the populated areas of Ukraine into scorched earth, and cabs are especially destructive. For Ukraine to be able to stop the cabs, it must strike Russian territory with all the weapons at its disposal. This includes weapons from the United States and European countries. ATA CMS systems can serve this purpose perfectly, he said. He notes that the Russians are limited by supply lines, their capacity and the distance they must travel to the front outside the territory of the Russian Federation. In some places, they were able to get through 10 to 15 kilometers, but for now, Ukrainian defenders are keeping them away from Kharkov. At the same time, the metropolis itself is under constant threat from long-range artillery and medium-range weapons, bombs and missile strikes. The American colonel was also asked whether the situation would change when weapons from the United States reached the front. Some of the American weapons are already in Ukraine. It will be a constant process of delivering weapons to the front to concentrate them. It can take from several weeks to several months for you to get the necessary amount of weapons to stabilize the front and then for the situation to change in favor of Ukraine, Leighton said. As the colonel suggests, once the weapons are in the right points along the front, corresponding changes will occur on the battlefield. He expressed hope that the Ukrainian armed forces will stop the Russian advance and use the right tactics at the right time. Leighton positively assessed the Ukrainian armed forces' strikes on Russian oil refineries. This is one area where Ukraine has shown exceptional ability to innovate. The strikes have threatened much of Russia's oil refining production, but it will take time before the Russian economy is significantly impacted, he said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo have signed a security pact about the delivery of 30 F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine by 2028. The pact was signed during Zelensky's visit to Brussels on Tuesday. The signed document includes at least 977 million euros in Belgian military aid to Ukraine this year, as well as Belgium's commitment to providing support over the course of the agreement's 10-year term. Zelensky said in a social media post. Prime Minister Alexander de Croo reiterated his country's support for Ukraine. Today Belgium signs an agreement on security cooperation and long-term support with Ukraine. President Zelensky, you need the right tools to protect your citizens. We are very determined when it comes to our support. So we need to more, better and faster, de Croo wrote on X. Under the security agreement, Belgium will send Ukraine 30 F-16 fighter jets by 2028, with the first planes to be arrived by the end of this year, Belgian Foreign Minister Haja Labib told the Belgian broadcaster RTL on May 28. Earlier this week, the Belgian PM's office said Zelensky was going to sign a string of security agreements with Western allies. Last October, Belgium said that it would provide Ukraine with several F-16 fighter jets, without specifying a number, and help with the training for Ukrainian pilots in EU countries. During the visit, Zelensky also visited pilot training site for Ukraine's F-16 pilots. The announcement about Belgium's delivery of F-16 fighter jets comes just days after the first batch of Ukrainian fighter pilots concluded their training on the F-16 aircraft. The Air and Space Forces magazine reported last week that, According to American sources, the first group of Ukrainian pilots to complete F-16 training has graduated in Arizona. And did you bring me more wine, Bordeaux? Oh. No, sorry. <laughs> Did you bring me more wine, Bordeaux? Oh. 
Un peu <rire> You have a real uh, head up display, which is the same as the, yes, the same as the, as the F16, uh -huh. and you would have as well a, a front control panel to be with uh, armament and uh, attack systems, uh, which is uh, it was designed for the Belgian trainees to go on F16. Uh, it's perfect. It looks really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.